Hi guys, welcome to this 18th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use the MPLAB code configurator. The MPLAB code configurator is a user-friendly graphical user interface plugin tool for MPLAB XIDE. Let's start a new project. Let's create a Blink application to basically switch on and off an LED connected to port B. We're gonna see how MPLAB code configurator is gonna speed up our code development. We're gonna basically write only two lines of code for this application. The rest will be generated graphically by our plugin. To install the MPLAB code configurator plugin, click on Tools, Plugins, click on Available Plugins, Select the MPLAB code configurator. The current version is version 2.25.2. It says the MPLAB code configurator generates seamless, easy to understand C code that is inserted into your project. It enables, configures, and utilizes rich set of peripherals across a select list of devices. It integrated into MPLAB XIDE to provide a very powerful and extreme easy to use development platform. Let us install this plugin. Install. Click next. Accept the terms in all of the license agreement. Install. If you receive this message, just click continue. Click finish. It's going to restart the MPLAB IDE. Before you start the MPLAB code configurator, you have to start a new project first or open an existing project. This is necessary as the MPLAB code configurator needs to know the device that you are going to use so that it can have access to the device specific information like the registers, bits, and configurations, and also to set up its graphical user interface. Let's start a new project. New gonna be a standalone project next gonna use the peak 18f 45k 22 click next gonna use the peak 3 hardware tool next gonna select our compiler next we're gonna name our project blink led we're gonna blink led folder open click finish let us start our MPLAB code configurator. To do that, click on Tools, Embedded, and click on MPLAB code configurator. If this is the first time to open this, you'll see this overlay to kind of describe all the major area of this MPLAB code configurator. This is the composure area, this is the project resource area, and this is the device resource area. To close this, you can just press the Escape button. This is the project resource window. In this section, you're going to see all the peripherals that you are currently using in your application. Below here, this is the list of all the peripherals available for this peak. You can choose here the peripheral that you're going to use. You can see we've got the ADC, you've got the CCP, you've got the comparator, you've got the USART, you've got the general purpose input output pin, you've got timers, you've got the I2C, you've got the SPI. Basically, all the peripherals available for this peak will be listed here. If you select a different peak microcontroller, then this peripheral will be different as well. Over here, this is the composure area. This is where you're going to graphically configure your peripherals and project settings. Let us start with the system settings. This system resource automatically is added whenever we start a new project. Click on System. Here we can configure our clock settings. Let's go to our circuit diagram and see what parameters we're going to need. Basically, we're going to have two things to configure in the system settings. The first thing, we're going to use an external clock, 8 MHz crystal oscillator. We're also going to enable the MCLR pin because we're going to connect our reset circuit on the MCLR pin. Here you can configure our clock settings. You can select other to use the internal or the external clock. Here you can specify the frequency of your clock and below here you can set your configuration bit. These are normally called fuses. If you expand any of these configurations, you can select whatever you want to use on your application. 
In the first configuration, you can select if you're gonna use the oscillator switch offer mode. We're just gonna level to disabled. You can select if you want to multiply your oscillator by four. We're just gonna use our oscillator directly. Primary clock can be disabled by software. Here you can select your oscillator source. In this application, we're gonna use an external oscillator, 8 MHz, so we're gonna select medium power from 4 to 16 MHz. The fail safe clock monitor enable bit, you're gonna leave it to off. The brown out reset enable bit, the watchdog timer. The other thing that we're gonna check is MCLR pin. We're gonna enable it. If you want to disable the MCLR pin, then you can click here to enable RE3 pin. And the rest of the configuration, we're just gonna leave them at their default values. So here we're gonna specify the frequency of our oscillator, we're gonna write 8. Next, let us add the peripheral to our project resources manager. We're gonna add a general purpose input output. Expand the general purpose input output. Double click. You can see the general I.O. is added on our project resources. If you click on it, you can see the MPLAB code configurator pin manager is also open. This is going to give us a graphical way to see which pins you can use and which pin that are already used. This is the graphical representation of our PIC microcontroller that you are using, PIC 18F45K22. All the pins that you see in blue, pins that are currently available, that we can use in our application. And whatever you see in gray, it means you cannot use these pins. Like the MCLR, like the VDD, VSS, you cannot use these pins. You can also select the type of the package that you are using. If you are using the TQFP package or the UQFN package, in our case we are using the DIP40 package. In this section you can select the pin that you are going to use. In our case we are going to use port B. This is port B, you can see all the pins are available for us. If you see the color is blue and the lock is open, it tells you that you can use this pin. We're gonna connect our LED on bit zero. So I'm gonna select bit zero. You can see the lock is closed and the pin color changes to green. And here you can see the pin color is green. And you can see in our composure area, the pin that you've selected, it shows here. If you want to enable another pin, you can just select that pin. Let's say you want to enable bit 1, you can see it also added here. If you want to disable it, click yes, it's also removed here. So this is the pin that we're going to use, pin RB0. By default, the pin that you add is an input pin. If you want to set it as an output, then you can click on output. There are some other features that you can use. If you want to enable the interrupt on change or to enable the interrupt on change on rising age, you can basically select what you want to do and you can see custom name if you want to change the name of our pin we're gonna rename our pin as LED enter and basically that all guys we have selected pin RB0 as an output pin and what is left is to generate the code click on generate code it's gonna start generating our code it says MCC detected you do not have a main.c file would you like to generate one? Yes. Then it's going to basically generate a C file. Let's go to our project. You can see in the source files, it generated a main.c file. It also generated some MCC files. If you click on MCC.c, you can see these are all the configuration bits depending on what we specified in the graphical user interface. If you click on the pin manager, you can see it initialize all the pins according to our specifications. And if you can click on the header files, it generated two files, the pin manager to initialize our pin and created some few micros that we can use. This the mcc.h, you can see it defined the frequency to 8 MHz. And in the pin manager.x, in this application, we're gonna use the LED toggle, copy. This is just to toggle our output. We could also use LED set high to set our pin high, set it low, or anything depending on what you want. Let us open our main C file. 
in the while one loop this is where you can add our application code we're gonna write led toggle semicolon then the next thing we're gonna do create a short delay so that you can be able to see how our led is switching on and off we're gonna create a short delay of one second so this is basically a short delay to generate a delay of one second so let us build our project build and the build is successful you can see guys MPLab code configurator drastically reduces the time we could use to write this code because we only wrote one line of code which is a delay function the LED toggle was generated to us by the pin manager let us go to our simulation let's start our simulation you can see our LED switch on for one second then it's gonna switch off for one second and so on so it's gonna blink at an interval of one second so basically guys it's very easy and it's a really nice tool to use it's very convenient it saves you time it simplifies everything and basically guys that's the end of this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive more tutorials in the future and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you